How to Revive a Goldfish On occasion a goldfish might jump out of his tank and end up out of water. This could be due to water that is too warm for the goldfish, at a temperature higher than 75 degrees Fahrenheit, or a goldfish that is infected with a parasite who is swimming too fast and ends up leaping out of his tank. If you find your goldfish lying on the floor, gasping for air, you will need to take steps to revive him so he can live a long, happy life. Part 1 – Cleaning the Fish 1. Examine the goldfish for signs of life Before you attempt to revive your goldfish, you should check for signs that he is still alive and can be saved. Signs your goldfish is dead include He appears dried out and his skin is cracked. His eyes are concave, bulging inward, instead of convex, bulging outward. He has gray pupils. He is missing body parts, like a fin or a tail. If your goldfish displays any of these symptoms, you may need to euthanize your fish using a humane treatment like clove oil. However, if your fish looks dried out but he does not have any missing body parts or concave eyes, you may still be able to revive him. 2. Place the goldfish in a container filled with cool water from his tank. The cool water contains oxygen and will help to revive your fish. Some experts also suggest placing your goldfish right back into the water in his tank, even if he appears dried out. 3. Clean any dirt or debris off the fish. Hold the fish in your hand, in the tank water, and use your free hand to gently remove any dirt on the sides of the fish. You can also simply move the fish around very slowly in the water to remove any debris. 4. Use your fingers to open the fish's gills. This requires a steady and patient hand. You will need to open the gill coverings on either side of the fish to check that his gills appear red, which is a good sign. You can also try giving your fish's underbelly a massage to stimulate air flow. Part 2 Giving the Fish Oxygenated Water 1. Move the goldfish close to an air bubbler or an air stone. Most aquariums have an air stone, which helps to regulate the water temperature in the tank and to aerate the water. If you have an air stone or an air bubbler, use your hand to move your goldfish close to the air source. This will help to give your fish more oxygen and hopefully revive your fish. If you do not have access to an air stone, you can continue to massage the fish's underbelly in the tank water until he starts to revive, or go purchase an air stone for the fish. 2. Use an air pipe Some goldfish owners will do a more extensive revival procedure that uses cleaned a, chlorinated water, a pure oxygen container, and an air pipe. This can be done if your fish is still alive but appears lethargic and slow-moving. To perform serious CPR on your fish, go to your local hardware store and get the following materials. An air stone. An air pipe. A pure oxygen container. A large plastic container, big enough for your fish. Plastic cling wrap. Adhesive tape. You will also need access to clean, de chlorinated water. 3. Place the de chlorinated water in the container. De chlorinated water does not contain chlorine or chloramine and will prevent the buildup of ammonia in your fish, which could lead to illness and death. Use enough de chlorinated water to fill the container halfway. To de chlorinate water, you will need to add a chemical additive called dechlorinator into the tap water. You can buy dechlorinator for under $10 at your local pet store. Follow the instructions on the label to determine how many drops of dechlorinator you will need to add to a certain amount of water. 4. Put your fish in the container. You will then need to connect the air stone to the oxygen container so it can pump pure oxygen into the water. Once it is connected, place the air stone into the container and make sure it sits at the bottom of the container, in the water. 
5. Turn on the pure oxygen and let oxygen into the water. Avoid over-oxygenating the water by pumping too much oxygen into the air stone. There should be a steady stream of small air bubbles coming out of the air stone. During the first five minutes, the air should come out strong and steady into the water. After five minutes, turn the oxygen valve down so the air comes out softer and not as strong, but still steady. 6. Use the cling wrap to seal the container. Take a large piece of cling wrap and place it over the container. Fold over the sides so the container is sealed and the fish is submerged in the oxygenated water. You can seal the cling wrap further using a strip of adhesive tape. 7. Keep your fish in the container for at least 2 hours. Be sure to check up on your fish periodically to ensure he is getting a steady oxygen flow from the air stone. After 2 hours, your fish should start to breathe and swim around normally. Part 3. Helping your goldfish recover 1. Give your fish a salt bath Though goldfish are freshwater fish, a salt bath can be great for your fish's overall health and help him recover from a lack of oxygen. However, if your fish is already on other medications or if you are using other treatments to revive him, you should only do a salt bath before giving him other medications or after you have completed other medications or treatments. Sea salt, kosher salt, aquarium salt and pure Morton's rock salt are all recommended for use. If possible, use natural sea salt with no additives, as it is high in minerals. Use a container that is clean and free of any contaminants. Add tank water to the container, as long as the tank water is safe to use, or add fresh water that has been de-chlorinated. Ensure the water temperature in the container is the same as the temperature of the water in the tank, or within 3 degrees of the same temperature. Add 1 teaspoon of salt per gallon of water. Mix the salt into the water to ensure all the granules have dissolved and then place your fish in the container of salt water. Keep your fish in the salt water for 1 to 3 minutes and observe your fish during the salt bath. If your fish displays any signs of stress, like rapid swimming or jerky movements, move your fish back into his main tank. 2. Try a garlic bath. Garlic is a natural detoxifier and can help to purify your fish. Make your own garlic water by peeling a medium-sized garlic bulb and mincing it up. Then, place the minced garlic in hot water and let it sit at room temperature for up to 12 hours. You can then mash up the cloves and strain it to create garlic water. The garlic water can be kept in the fridge and is good for up to two weeks. Use the garlic water the same way you would use salt in a salt bath. Use about 1 teaspoon garlic water per 10 gallons, 37.9 L, of tank water. Then, give your fish a purifying garlic bath for 1 to 3 minutes. You can also give your fish garlic water to help prevent infection. Apply it to your fish's mouth using a syringe or an eyedropper, 2 drops a day for 7, 10 days. 3. Add chlorophyll to the tank. Chlorophyll is considered medicine for goldfish and can help boost your fish's immune system and health. Look for pure liquid chlorophyll at your local pet store. It usually comes in drops. Give your goldfish a chlorophyll bath in his tank, following the instructions on the bottle. You can also give your goldfish chlorophyll by adding it to his gel food. 4. Use a stress coat water conditioner. You can purchase this product at your local pet store. Most stress coat water conditioners are made with aloe, which helps to soothe stressed out fish and heal any damaged tissue on your fish. Using a stress coat water treatment can help your fish recover after being revived. Tips Prevent goldfish from jumping out by having a proper hood cover for the tank, and leave a buffer by not filling up the tank or pond to the very top.
perform partial water changes and tests on a regular basis in order to maintain a good water quality.